Welcome to Toy Crime. If you're a traveler, then you're at the right place. Please subscribe to us and press the bell icon. Visiting Pierce is an experience like no other, with its timeless landmarks, exquisite cuisine, rich cultural heritage, and fashionable allure. The city of love has something to offer every traveler. Travelers can immerse themselves in the Parisian joie de vivre and let the enchanting city leave an indelible mark on their hearts. These are our picks for the top 10 places to visit in Paris. Pantheon. The Pantheon was built as Paris's version of Rome's St. Peter's Basilica and London's St. Paul's Cathedral. It was created to rival the two churches. Inside the Pantheon is France's natural mausoleum, and it houses the country's most famous citizens. The Pantheon was finished in 1790 after being built on the site of Saint Genevieve. The mausoleum is home and the final resting place for 75 legendary Frenchmen. Writers Victor Hugo and Alexandre Dumas and philosophers Voltaire and René Descartes can be found in the mausoleum. Although the Pantheon's mausoleum was initially for men, it now welcomes famous French women. Physicist Marie Curie is now buried in the Pantheon. Group tours are available throughout the year. Between April and October, tourists can climb to the top of the Pantheon's dome. A balcony provides visitors with breathtaking views of Paris. Montmartre Montmartre is a beautiful area in the north of Paris, with picturesque winding lanes, shady trees, and rolling hills. Although Montmartre has been a part of Paris since 1860, visitors will feel like they're in a completely different city. The area is filled with cafes, restaurants, and shops. In addition to the great dining spots and shops, visitors will find the Basilica of the Sacred Heart. The Basilica is known for its white dome, and tourists can explore the famous religious building. The Basilica of the Sacred Heart was finished in 1919, in honor of the victims of the Franco-Prussian War. Artists sell their creations at the Square of Territor and paint tourist portraits. Montmartre was a scene of Paris's art scene in the early 1900s. Greats like Vincent van Gogh and Pablo Picasso painted there. The Espace Salvador Dali Museum is near the Square of Territor. It is an ideal place to visit for art lovers. Arc de Triomphe The Arc de Triomphe was built in honor of the soldiers from the French armies who fought in the Revolution and Napoleonic Wars. The monument was commissioned by Napoleon in 1806. It took 30 years to complete the structure. Architect Jean-Francois Chalgeron designed the Arc de Triomphe, taking inspiration from Rome's Arch of Titus. The monument is 50 meters tall, with bas-reliefs depicting departures, marches, battle victories, and returns to France. There is a viewing platform at the top of the monument. Visitors have a panoramic view of the area around it. Avenue des Champs-Élysées the Avenue des Champs-Élysées is the most famous street in the world. The area in which the Champs-Élysées is located was once a marshland of fields. In the 17th century, the area was transformed by landscaper André Le Nôtre. In the 18th century, Baron Haussmann, Paris's city planner, designed the Champs-Élysées' iconic buildings. The avenue is divided into two portions. The Rond Point des Champs-Élysées is at the heart of the two parts. The lower portion of the avenue is home to the Jardin des Champs-Élysées, a large park that is perfect for exploring. Tourists will also find the Petit Palais Museum. The higher portion of the avenue extends to the Arc of Triomphe. This portion of the Champs-Élysées is where visitors will find designer shopping, restaurants, and hotels. The Champs-Élysées is ideal for tourists to explore. It has a fantastic atmosphere, and Parisians from all over the city will gather along the avenue. Les Invalides Officially known as l'Hôtel National des Invalides, is a historic complex in Paris that holds great significance in French military and architectural history. It was officially constructed as a hospital and retirement home for injured and disabled troops, and was given the go-ahead by King Louis XIV in the 17th century. In addition to its military history, Les Invalides now houses the Musée de l'Armée, Army Museum, which boasts an extensive collection of military artifacts, weaponry, and armor spanning centuries of French history. The complex also includes the Musée des Plans Relief, dedicated to military models and maps, and the Musée de l'Ordre de la Libération, which commemorates those who fought against Nazi occupation during World War II. 
Les Invalides is not only a testament to France's military heritage, but also an architectural and historical treasure that offers a deep dive into the country's past. Luxembourg Gardens, also known as Jardin du Luxembourg in French. The Luxembourg Palace was created in the early 17th century, and these landscape gardens are renowned for their beauty, elegance, and historical significance. The gardens are centered around the Luxembourg Palace, which now houses the French Senate. The palace and gardens were originally commissioned by Queen Marie de Médici and have since become a symbol of French classicism. The beautiful location is filled with manicured lawns, tree-lined promenades, and tranquil fountains, creating an inviting atmosphere for both locals and tourists. One of the highlights is the octagonal pond, where children sail miniature boats. Additionally, there are numerous statues and sculptures scattered throughout the gardens, including the famous Medici Fountain. These sculptures and the lush greenery provide a perfect backdrop for relaxation and leisurely walks. Luxembourg Gardens also boasts an orchard, apiary, and a picturesque rose garden. It's a place where Parisians come to read, jog, or simply unwind amidst the beauty of nature. The gardens offer a blend of history, art, and nature, making them a must-visit destination. Notre Dame Cathedral Notre Dame Cathedral is in the heart of the city, near the Latin Quarter. The cathedral's construction started in 1163 by Bishop Maurice de Sully and King Louis IX. It took over 150 years for the cathedral to be finished. The church's style shows a transition from early Gothic architecture to high Gothic architecture. Notre Dame is a monument to the Gothic style. The inside of the church is lit up by stained glass windows. In April 2019, a fire destroyed a part of Notre Dame. Since the fire occurred, the inside of Notre Dame has been closed. Fortunately, the church is set to reopen in December 2024. Architect Philippe Villeneuve is in charge of restoring Notre Dame and bringing it back to its past glory. Once the church reopens, visitors may get to see the hundreds of paintings, sculptures, and statues inside. Louvre Museum Paris's Louvre Museum is the world's most famous art gallery. It is situated on the bank of the River Seine, in the center of the capital. It was built in the French Baroque style. The most famous and popular artwork inside the Louvre Museum is the Mona Lisa. There are additional famous artworks within the Louvre's walls. The Louvre wasn't always an art museum. It was originally built as a fortress to keep Vikings out of Paris. The building later became home to monarchs before the French Revolution. In 1789, the Louvre became home to Paris's art. Visitors will find 380,000 pieces of art inside. There are 35,000 permanent exhibitions to explore. The Louvre has eight departments in which the art is spread across. The museum welcomes thousands of tourists each day. During the peak travel months in Paris, the Louvre may welcome 60,000 or more visitors per day. Eiffel Tower The Eiffel Tower is the ultimate tourist attraction in Paris. Indeed, it is the most visited tourist attraction in the world. Designed for the Paris exhibition in 1899, the Eiffel Tower was originally seen as a horror to the city's skyscape. Although it was considered a Parisian eyesore, the Eiffel Tower is now viewed as one of the world's greatest structural masterpieces. The Eiffel Tower is the most Parisian of all the city's tourist attractions. Travelers can ascend to the top of the Eiffel Tower for incredible views of Paris. The second level of the Eiffel Tower is home to the Le Jou Vert, a Michelin-starred restaurant. It serves up contemporary French dining. Tourists cannot take a bad photo from the top of the Eiffel Tower. Visitors also love to snap goofy pics from the ground before ascending to the top of the tourist attraction. Seine River, a beautiful river in the heart of Paris. This is a waterway that played an important part in the city's history and culture. Stretching approximately 775 kilometers in length, the Seine is not only a vital transportation route, but also a symbol of romance and beauty. Don't miss on taking a cruise along the Seine as a quintessential Parisian experience, providing a unique perspective on architectural marvels that are lined with picturesque bridges, including the famous Pont Neuf and flanked by elegant boulevards. The riverbanks offer enchanting vistas of the city's most iconic landmarks, such as the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame Cathedral, and the Louvre Museum. Taking a cruise at night is also a beautiful experience, seeing the Eiffel Tower sparkle. Its waters have inspired countless artists and writers, making it a source of inspiration and a testament to Paris's enduring allure. 
whether by day or illuminated at night, the Seine River is a must-see place and take a cruise, making it an essential part of the Parisian experience. So which place did you like the most in Paris? Tell us in the comment section below and also let us know where you're watching this video from.